Hey, when will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. But what I do know is that this is for of beauty. And to you, my darlings, you are very welcome. Today I thought I would have a chat with you about some non-makeup favourites of mine. So if that interests you, as I've said for some considerable time now and off to your echo elsewhere on less imaginative channels. And as Sammy the Sloth Straw recommends, grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up, and enjoy. Because here it comes. Right, as always, I've not got everything out in front of me because, to be quite fair, juggling everything, I'm going to drop something and break it and you know it's just... So I'm going to put pictures up here for you of the items I'm discussing. And there are ten items on the list with a bonus at the end. So, if you're sitting comfortably, let's begin. Lip balms. Now, in the current climate, with everyone wearing masks, nine times out of ten, I'm not wearing a lipstick, I'm just wearing a lip balm. So I've gone through quite a few. And my absolute favourite, it's a little more expensive, but oh my god, it's worth it is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss. Smells like their bum bum cream, which is just heavenly. Um, but it's just so good. I, mean, I used to, particularly in uh, drier weather, I'd get cracks at the side of my mouth here and would have to take additional vitamin B6, I think it is to um, try and deal with that. I've been using the Brazilian Kiss pretty much solely for the last four months. haven't had to up my B6 at all, which is awesome. So, yeah, I can absolutely recommend that. Number two function of beauty. Not sponsored, they have no idea who I am, but when you buy from function of beauty they do give you a code where if people sign up with it they make a saving and then I think I get a saving on my next order. Function of beauty, shampoo and conditioner. Now, long term viewers will remember the GP stuck me on some meds which <laughs> made my hair fall out. Like I don't have enough to be dealing with. Um, and my hair really struggled. Once I'd come off of those meds, it was my hair was really struggling still to try and get back to some kind of normality and to look good. I mean, at the moment I'm having a my hair went flat. Man, I hate that. So I think I might just... There we go. Cover the flat hair up with a cowboy hat. Marvellous. Um, so I thought, well, do you know what? I'll give this function of beauty a go. See what it's like. Literally within... Because I wash my hair sort of two or three times a week. 
literally within a week and a half, my hair was looking healthier. I've been using it now for about eight, nine months and my hair is probably the best condition it's ever been in. It's growing. I have to cut it so much more often because it's growing so much quicker. And the only thing I can put that down to is that shampoo and conditioner because that's the only thing that I'm doing differently. So yeah, um, love it, crack on. I think the discount's listed below if not give me a nudge. Right, toothpaste because as you'll know if you're a regular viewer I'm currently struggling with my teeth because my dentist went all private I was in the process of trying to find a new NHS dentist when COVID hit and now none of the NH dentists are taking on anybody new because they're trying to clear the backlog from when they were locked down for five months and the meds that I'm on weaken your teeth so it's really really important for me to have a good toothpaste something which really effectively cleans my teeth, gets rid of the plaque, leaves me feeling fresh, gives me nice breath. Really important. But I also have the issue that most toothpastes are very strongly flavoured with mint. And my fibro, one of the ways that, one of the weirdest symptoms I have is that if I have anything too flavourful too far towards the back of my throat, shall we say make your own jokes up there folks it um, stimulates my gag reflex I've had to go down to using a child's toothbrush because the head is smaller so it irritates the back of my mouth less than an adult toothbrush does. But I found this toothpaste in Superdrug. It's the coconut flavour one. It has got a hint of mint but it's more coconut than it is mint. Um, and it's whitening as well which is great. Not that you can really tell with this particular lipstick because this particular lipstick really pulls out any yellow that you have in your teeth and being a coffee drinker But I absolutely love this toothpaste. Every time it's on half price, I stock up with about seven or eight tubes of it. I've got loads of them in my medicine cabinet at the moment. Um, and it's really nice. The other good thing is that obviously you brush your teeth before you go to bed. So you're tired and you're sleepy. And then you brush your teeth with mint and you're wide awake again. Not with that, because you're brushing it with coconut, which is much more soothing and it uh, doesn't tend to jerk you awake quite as much as a stimulating mint does. Face masks. Uh, the one that I'm using at the moment that I'm finding is working best in terms of clearing up mask breakouts that I'm getting is this one. Again, it's from Superdrug. Um, and it's a, like a mud mask, but it's coffee. It's got coffee grains in it. And I don't know whether it's the caffeine or whether it's just psychological because I like coffee. But that seems to be working so much better for me than the uh, L'Oreal mud mask that I've been using. So I can absolutely recommend that. And again, that's very often on special offer in Superdrug. Moisturiser. Now, my skin is super, super sensitive all the time. And 
some days just applying moisturiser and, and rubbing it in hurts. That, that's how sensitive my skin is. Um, and I tried this Olay Whip. They do it with and without sun cream. Uh, sunscreen. I get the one without sunscreen because I always use a separate sunscreen. I don't really think there's much point in getting moisturisers with sun cream, sunscreen in because you'd have to use so much of the moisturiser for the sunscreen to take effect that you'd just be a grease bomb. So I prefer to have separate moisturisers and sunscreens. But this Olay Whip just dissolves into your skin. It feels light as a feather. It really is the easiest if you've got sensitive skin it's by far the easiest one to apply because you barely have to touch your skin and it's absorbed which is great disinfectant because let's face it we're all using a lot of that right now and I'm old school so when everyone was clearing the shelves of all of these sprays and wipes and I just bought some more Zoflora which is great because you can mix your own Zoflora up to whatever strength you want and this particular one that I've been using recently Midnight Blooms smells like Alien Perfume by Thierry Mugler genuinely because I'd wiped the kitchen surface down with it Chris came in and went oh you're wearing my favourite perfume and I'm like no I've just cleaned with Zoflora so he's now insisted that we continue to get this one all the while it's available uh, because he loves the smell of it and he actually he likes cleaning with it because he likes the smell of it which is great because it saves me a job Dry shampoo. Now, like I said to you, I wash my hair two, three times a week, but my hair gets greasy within 24 hours, so I have to use dry shampoo on it. Um, I've tried a lot of different dry shampoos. The only one which I know, I can guarantee, even if I'm a bit too close and I get like a white cast on my hair, it'll brush straight through and straight out soaks the oil up, leaves my hair looking good, leaves my hair smelling nice is the Batiste just to prove the point this is my favourite scent as well, the tropical one coconut and exotic tropical it's got flamingos all over it which lovely um, so yeah I if you, if you need to use a dry shampoo, that's the one I go for. They've got a lot of different scents. They've got an unscented one. They've got one which is designed for deeper hair colours like brunettes. So you definitely don't get the white cast. The only thing to watch with that one is the powder is tinted brown. So if you don't aim too well, you can look like you've got a smudge down your face and if you run your fingers through rather than brush it through you'll definitely have to wash your hands afterwards and your brush but as I said if I do get a bit too close with the Batiste the white just brushes straight through anyway and comes straight out so awesome Okay, sunscreen. I use two different ones. I have one that I use for my body and one that I use for my face because obviously the skin on your face is different to the skin on your body and also on my face I'm going to usually want to be applying some kind of makeup even if it is just concealer and powder so I need something that's going to absorb well and not be greasy and sticky and repel makeup. So for my body I use the Riemann's P20 
that's available in SPFs 15, 20, 30 and 50. I used to use 20, I now use 30. I would recommend the minimum sunscreen you use is a 25. What I like about Raymond's is um, I used to use this when I used to go on tour for work with the Legion. Sorry, I've got a hair and it's sticking right to my lashes and I can feel it. But obviously I can't. There we go. It's a grey one. I'll pull it out. <laughs> um, I used to use this when I was going on tour with the Legion because I knew that I could apply it in the morning and not have to worry it would cover me all day. Obviously if I had the chance I'd reapply at lunchtime. Nine times out of ten I didn't have that time, I was too busy working. So Riemann's was the one sun cream that I knew would work for me. Eight hours, ten hours solid. And trust me, my skin goes from white to lobster and back to white again. It does not tan. When I use that, when I'm in the continent where it's dry air rather than humid air, I can actually get a little bit of a tan. I know. I know. Uh, the one that I've used for my face just recently and that I'm really quite liking is the Ren Clean Screen Mineral SPF. It's a mattifying broad spectrum and it's SPF 30. So um, I really like that. I wash, moisturise, SPF and then go and brush my teeth, get myself a drink, get myself settled down by which time my SPF has sunken in well, then I apply my antiperspirant primer over the top, pop my crown pebble eye primer on and then start filming or start applying makeup. And my favourite biscuit, because when I was writing this list, I was eating biscuit. My favourite biscuit is the custard cream. Two biscuits with a custardy, creamy, soft centre. I like to eat them separately, I like to, to pull them apart and eat the bit without the cream on and then eat the bit with the cream on because then I feel like I've had two biscuits and not one. Psychological. It works. And number 10 on my list, my favourite deodorant. Now, I have proper struggled since having fibro. My skin hates deodorant. I tried so many different deodorants from drugstore right the way through to expensive. I tried stick deodorants, cream deodorants, spray deodorants, liquid deodorants, cream deodorants, powder deodorants. I tried everything. The only deodorant that I can wear every day without it irritating my skin and causing blisters in my armpit Yes, that's how badly my skin was reacting to most uh, antiperspirants and deodorants. The only one I can use is Native. And again, it was one of those like with Function of Beauty, not sponsored. I don't know if I've got a code for Native or not. If I have, it will be in the comments, in the description box. Um, it was one of those, do you know what, I keep seeing this advertised, sod it, I'll get one to try, see what it's like, love it. Hubby's now uh, converted to it as well because he'd run out of deodorant and I just bought a new three pack and one of them was cucumber and mint which he decided was a manly enough scent. Uh, I started off with the coconut and vanilla, that's a little bit lush. 
uh, cucumber and mint. I haven't I haven't actually tried that yet because hubby needs that one. Um, and I'm currently using I think it's white peach and blossoms. I think I know it's got peach in it. It smells really nice. And I've got a little travel size one that smells like pumpkin spice. So I'm really waiting for that to come out because I'm order a couple of those when um, when that scent comes out. So that's my list of my 10 favourite non-makeup items. But I did promise you a bonus item and that bonus item is my favourite TV show. Now it's not on anymore but they are showing repeats and it is on Netflix. And it is Life on Mars and Ashes to Ashes with Jean Jean DCI, a Gene Hunt. Oh, oh. As played oh, by Philip Glenister, he would be my whole pass. Ooh. There's, I don't know what it is, there's just something about him when he plays that character. Misogynistic, overbearing, rude, opinionated, grumpy, but strangely very attractive man. But thankfully um, Matthew Graham, the writer, has agreed that he is going to do a series that kind of links because Life on Mars was set in the 70s, Ashes to Ashes was set in the 80s which is great, born in the 70s, grew up in the 80s, the music, just the soundtrack for those two. I was, I was, having, I was having to keep rewinding the show to, to watch again because I was too busy singing along to the sound. <laughs> They're doing one now which is going to link the two series and apparently be in modern day as well. Uh, and again, taking a David Bowie song title as the title of the show. It's going to be Lazarus. So I cannot wait to see how that one turns out. But there we go, folks. That's my favourite non makeup items and a bonus. It's a technical level, but. If you want to do this tag, I would love to see you do it. I don't know if anybody else has ever done this. If they have, let me know and I will by all means mention it in my description box. Um, I don't remember seeing this anywhere but like I said, fibro brain, I forget who I am half the time. No, I'm not quite that bad but you know what I mean. Right, my lovelies, I hope you enjoyed this including the sudden addition with my cowboy hat. Oh, Lord, I'm losing the plot. Right. YouTube is still deleting people. And they changed all the notifications from all back to personalised. And they stopped sending emails out without telling anybody. Helpful. So in the hope that they'll change it back again in a fortnight without telling anybody, Please double check you're still subscribed. Please double check your notifications are on and still say all. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. I hope you've enjoyed it here. Um, I blether on usually about makeup. The tutorial for this is up. Uh, I do mainly coloured makeup, but I throw the occasional neutral one in just to keep people on their toes. It'd be lovely if you would like to join the 4F family. It's very easy to do. Hit the subscribe button, ring my bell, choose all notifications, and just pray YouTube will start sending emails out again until they do. If you're looking for a bit of me time, super easy. Grab a drink, grab a snack, pick a playlist, put your feet up. And indulge and watch me either apply coloured pigments to my face or waffle on about something completely different. 
there's a lot of playlists. I've got makeup tutorials, product reviews, collabs, uh, what else have I got? Tags, challenges, I even read you my favourite poem. I'm sure you can find something that'll interest you. Right, my lovelies, as ever, all that remains for me to say is you'll stay fabulous and I will see you next time. Bye for now.